Hello and welcome to first, you know, good slow pass around on the 1350 Polar Lights Round 2 Enterprise Refit Model Kit. This video I'm not going to be talking about very much. You saw the previous video that I did, which was just a quick pass through of everything mocked up together. You see here we've got everything taken back apart and just discuss a couple of things that I was looking to do with this ship. First off, this will be done without the use of anybody's photo etch whatsoever. Um, and with that, I've had to make a couple of modifications to the ship so that I still be able to pass off the things that I was wanting to pass off without necessarily, uh, you know, with the use of a little improvisation. And right here is the first thing. You can see right there, we've got a clear styrene piece right there where the arboretum windows would go. What I did to achieve this is, you know, of course, you know, just sticking styrene in there basically, but I enlarged the size, the size of this rectangle because what I'm gonna do is, after I get it together and I'll turn it around on the other side there and show you what that looked like there from the outside, is I'm gonna take the size, you know, in a little bit and everything. I'm going to get this as nice and as flush as I can with some sanding and some, uh, you know, with just a little bit of putty around the edges. And then I'm actually going to paint the windows in upon some of the close, close, uh, still shots of the model kit of the studio model, you know, after it was placed in retirement, brought back out again, getting ready for the Christie's auction. You know, on some of those tight shots right there, it looked like that was, you know, merely painted on. It didn't look like it was an actual plastic or, you know, some kind of frame built around. It just looked like they masked it off and painted that on a big uh, plastic piece right there. And you've got your windows. I'm going to do the same thing. It's six windows, six pieces of tape, all cut evenly and stuff. And I'll be stacking the tape up on each other so I guarantee that they're all even. And, uh, you know, that will be my plan for taking care of the Arboretum windows. And, uh, you know, going over, I'm going to set the Arboretum in there here in a minute. But you can see here, um, I didn't use the regular, uh, you know, having to stand with the pole in a regular location, which will be right here underneath this ring that goes around that will house the navigational deflector. I did my own improv, and of course, very fond of using uh, plumbing pipe for that. It's very nice, very sturdy. And my reason behind this is that, yeah, I know it's built to go on that, but man, this is a big ship once it's finished and everything. And this is a glue on part. And it's not like the uh, 1350 TOS piece, which, you know, slips right down up underneath the bottom and everything. And it has a nice, good, firm, secure, you know, solid hole right there with a lot more surface area that's going to be uh, glued together. Um, this right here, you know, it just has this ring with like a eighth inch overlap and you know it all goes together up on there and yeah there are some very strong glues and different stuff that you can put on that but I just wanted something that was just bolted right down here to the you know bottom piece on the secondary hole you know right in the belly so I got it coming right up underneath there got all my wires coming through and stuff so technically I am ready to go ahead and lay the arboretum down off up in there uh, just a little bit more uh, fabrication to go with it and stuff to get it clean and ready to go and then it can actually get sat down off up in there and you know uh, we're good to go on that here's my arboretum right here you know take a look at that what I've done is the doorways and stuff I'm wondering what are these extra pieces of styrene sticking out the backs of it and everything I've opened up the doorways and uh, you know, stuck it out there so like when you're looking down through there, it looks like there's a little bit of a hallway right there. And so you, you go through there and you can see out and I've got a little window right here with like a little, uh, I don't know, like a little small, uh, oh, what would you call it, a little, like a little hydroponics bay or something like that. I just wanted something to be seen when you look off up inside of there, a little bit more of an interior space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clear piece over this and uh, color it. Um, probably with violet so when you look down if you've been there you have all the bright light bouncing in and it'll give a little bit of a color and stuff it's gonna be slightly underneath the shuttle base so I'm gonna have to improvise something with the light with that but you know with this uh, took out everything that they were suggesting you know they came with the kit you know little plastic round trees and of course you had the cone shaped ones that were in there you know ground all that out 
um, laid in uh, got railroad uh, grass and sand actually is what that is got them you know a few dollars for each one of those at Mojave Lobby and got that up in there because when I think Arboretum I think natural path and grit underneath your boots when you're out there got a little overspray right here I'm gonna have to come back in and uh, take care of that that'd be nothing because we really when you're looking at that from that size by as deep as you're going to be able to go up before you get into the top of the arboretum uh, glass the top of the window and then getting cut off by a hole um, so I've gone in right here uh, I had to come in with just a little bit of brown and get that color back because I originally had these walls a separate color they were a different color they were like a tannish brown with red uh, highlights on it took all that out, made it one flat nice uh, bluish gray color and really prefer that better but got rocks around here like it'd be a waterfall and you know go up underneath here some stones around there and you know come back over you got the rest of the water up over here with a nice little you know sitting stone right there you know, perch yourself right there by the water um, and take a gander I only got five trees up in here it's not littered with a bunch of trees was thinking about doing some kind of a lamp lighting up in here with the mushroom fiber optics but decided not to go with that I'm not gonna do that I just let the regular lighting be in there because I was thinking about like a day night thing you turn the main lighting off for it and it would be you know just that little bit of lighting coming in and then maybe the lighting coming in through the hallways and stuff but yeah we just have the regular you know always daytime lighting coming in uh, and you know this was one of the first things that I did on this ship was to the Arboretum. Uh, right here we have the officer's lounge because I am doing the 1701 you know it's the refit it's not going to be the A version I'm going to get another one of these kits I'm back at work so I'm going to pick up me another one of these and I do the A version which means I will have to scratch build the officer's mess because on the Enterprise A the lounge wasn't necessarily right there at those windows it was the officer's mess you know Star Trek 6 they're sitting around there trading insults toward the end you know that's what you had so I'll be you know fabricating one of those you know possibly it'll be sometime way down the road though but this is incomplete of course you know it's just got some basic colors going on it had to come back up in here and do my uh, seating and everything that'll be done with a nice little toothpick you know slightly frayed on the end and magnification and steady hand and patience and then uh, get my get a little bit of plant work around the edge around here and then I'm gonna come in with some mushroom fiber optics and put a couple of sconces on the wall and maybe a couple of lamps coming in on the floor and get the decals in and that be it so you know that's the plan for the Arboretum of course and again you can see the uh, colors chose for that uh, I'll go over to Shuttle Bay in another video uh, Mainly because you know I want to have it and then you know hooked up and taking a look at it and everything and stuff. So, but the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video was the navigational deflector. Now I'm not using, like I said, I, I, I don't have photo edge, but I also don't have a lot of circuit boards. Toward the end, I will be getting a uh, nav strobe board and putting in here. Uh, more than likely, uh, antenna controls will be going, but I do want to crank on a little bit about my navigational deflector and I'm gonna need to run and go get that real quick so let me go pick that up bring it back to you know hook onto my light right here and I will discuss with that here very shortly in just a minute okay and I'm back here we got the deflector right here is just sitting out I've got the deflector dish part actually frosted quite a bit it's not uh, just 100 of course it hadn't been painted at all yet um, but got that sitting in there and what I've done here on the inside of the housing is I've painted that copper color I'm gonna go back in and do it with black mixed in with the copper to make it just a little bit darker and everything and um, you know I kinda like the effect that that gives me when I have the light coming in and speaking of which as you can see right here we have a four pin common cathode RGB LED wish it would focus there it is all right, that's what I have right here. And I'm gonna flip this over underneath the base. What I have done is that, uh, you know, you're kind of looking at the bottom here. Give me just a second. Let me go and grab a screwdriver and take that off for us so we can look at that. It's, you know, it's very simple, it's very basic, but it's very cool and it gives a nice effect. So I'll be just right back so we can take a look at the top. 
All right, guys, and, and, and let me tell you, that's my mistake right there. Um, in preparation for going ahead and getting this, you know, starting to get the ship on together, I forgot that I hot glued all the wires down on the top of it and stuff. So pulling that back down through there so I can lift that down actually turned out to be a little bit of an impossibility. And I'm not fixing to touch all that hot glue, to, you know, uh, to pull that down. I've got everything set and straight where it needs to be at, wires going and everything. But, you know, it's, it's really easy to discuss right here. You know, we're just looking at it from a reverse side, basically. Just imagine, you know, where you see these connections and stuff with the solder. You've got resistors on the top. Um, you got four resistors over here. Uh, you got the red, the green. Well, actually, you got the red, the green, then the blue, and then the blue comes in on the second one as well, because you remember the deflector dish actually changes color. You know, um, have your low power mode and then you have your impulse warp mode where you know it's blue and everything and over here have all the negative coming in um, power coming in over here and you know it all branches off got it on separate switches um, what I have coming in you know got your power coming in goes to the switch branches off some of it's just going straight for the main lighting uh, and everything and then the rest is coming over here and I split the power uh, in the middle pin on the switch and then have when this flick to one side is going towards the uh, low power mode with the thrusters on and then when I switch down it goes to the impulse and I give a demonstration on the uh, light here so we can see what we've got going on turn it on of course we've got a blue right now and that's just light coming in on the blue pin on the RGB LED blue pin only power is switched on for that now stand it back up here And our starboard switch will control this, and the light changes color. Right now, it looks a lot more pinkish and everything. Basically, it is a lot more pinkish uh, than it otherwise will be once I get all the thrust of wiring and all the rest of the ship wiring put on. It will actually drain some of the blue coloring out of this and get it more towards having more of an oranges feel with a little bit of blue in it to give it more of a rose copper feel that I'm actually wanting to go for. Um, you know, orange is very easy on the RGB LED. Uh, you just have the red and green hooked up. Now you have to resist the green a lot more than the red because that uh, green RGB LED, um, green diode inside of there is a very strong. If you resist the red and the green at the same uh, resistance rate, you're going to have a lot more green. You know, and that necessarily won't just look good, almost more yellowy and stuff. So, but it's looking a lot of pink, but it will not look like that once everything is completed. But that's the look of the deflected dish just hanging right there on the light. I switch it back over again, and we've got the blue, and there's a nice deep blue. The copper on the inside of that gives that bright center with the dark around the uh, edge, and then it brightens back up once you get more towards where the ring is going to be once you get that detailing on there be soups cool like that and then of course the last thing we have is once that light branches over it goes for the blue we've got the switch over here now nothing's hooked up but it'll switch between the warp and impulse because on the enterprise you notice that when it's at impulse the deflector dish is blue i go in full impulse power you know with a low power navigation deflector no you need something more powerful than that so you know switch to blue the impulse power will come on you know and you have the warp power and you switch between those and i'll uh, hook all that up on the next video as well but that was my thought behind the uh deflector dish it was very simple all on one switch all of it good to go um really really like it and it's working and it's simple i didn't have to spend a thing for that and still have the uh color change on the deflector dish with just a switch going so uh, from here on in I will go in and I'm actually going to get the rest of that shuttle bay completed so that will be done get this officers lounge completed so we can get that uh, you can see what that will look like uh, lit up with the lamps and the sconces and everything on it with the decals on it and I'll bring that video back a little bit later on so um, we go forth keep working on this those of you out there building models, keep on building. I know I'm going to keep going with this, and I will see you guys later.